Pasta's great for midweek simple quick suppers, but it's also perfect for entertaining. What I'm doing is a fabulous seafood pasta using this fresh troffier, which is a typically Ligurian pasta shape. Great for soaking up all of those lovely seafood flavours. So to start off with, I just need to heat some olive oil in with some chopped onion. I'm just going to cook that down for a little bit, just to soften slightly. In with some garlic, not too much. And now our wonderful seafood. First of all, some squid, which I've cleaned and prepped. And some prawns, which I've cleaned. And now our wonderful clams, straight into there. And about, about a small glass of white wine. One final stir. And the lid goes back on. And that cooks until those lovely clams start to open. That seafood's now cooked, all the clams are open, so I'm going to turn that right down and take the lid off. What I need to do is drain that, but reserve that wonderful cooking liquor. So, being very careful. I get a pan back on the heat. And again, very carefully get those lovely cooking juices into the pan. There we go. Now, to start building on those wonderful flavours, I'm going to add some of this delicious cherry tomato and basil sauce. Stir that through. I love that combination of tomato and seafood. It smells absolutely fabulous. Now I need to cook that for about four or five minutes until it started to thicken and reduce down. Now while that's been reducing, I've actually cooked and drained some pasta, so I'm going to go and get that now. Straight in with that. Now I've used two packets of troffia, which is perfect for about four people for a main. Now, because it's quite an intense flavoured sauce, I don't want lots of it. I don't want the plate swimming in sauce. It's just enough to coat that pasta so it doesn't overpower that wonderful, delicate seafood flavour. That's ready and now to plate. Got our delicious pasta straight into the bowl. And then our delicious seafood just scattered over the top. Some freshly chopped parsley. Finally, a squeeze of fresh lemon. Now remember, Italians would never put parmesan on a dish like this. And there we have it. Perfect for entertaining my fabulous troffier marinara.